Hey guys, Taylor Pope here of Chain Effect. I'm here with my buddy Patrick Ward. Uh, you may have seen him in a recent video I posted with him uh, jumping and touching the ceiling with his head. Um, I invited him back to help me show you guys some exercises that make that, that kinetic chain movement possible. Um, and we're gonna start today by taking a look at the ankles and then we're gonna work our way up to the knees, hips, thoracic spine, and finally shoulders, showing you some different exercises that can help you increase your vertical leap. We're taking a look at Pat's ankle. There are two important phases for us to consider. The first is the eccentric or loading phase as he accesses dorsiflexion or his ankle mobility, getting his knees over his toes. The second thing he needs to do is generate uh, speed and strength so that he can create power to quickly plantar flex, which gets him off the ground. We're about to show you a couple of exercises to, um, or a couple of assessments rather, to test your ankle mobility to make sure you have enough mobility there. And then we're going to show you a couple of exercises to help you uh, gain that speed and power to make you jump higher. Okay, first we're going to take a look at Pat's plantar flexion. And really for this, Pat should just be able to comfortably sort of sit back on his ankles. You see he's creating this big obtuse angle between his shin and his foot and you know, you should be able to comfortably rest here. This could be a stretch for you, um, but you know, working to get into this position is good for the ankles, also good for the knees to get into that deep flexion. Um, all right, and then we're gonna um, now take a look at his dorsiflexion. So go ahead and get into a lunge for me, good. All right, so for this, we really just wanna be about four inches from the end of Pat's foot. He should be able to pretty easily reach his knee ahead to, uh, to the stick here, and he can, um, but if he didn't, he might have a dorsiflexion restriction, and so we would want to do a couple mobilizations um, to help correct that and increase the flexibility there. That could be a restriction in his ankle, but it also could be a restriction from the calf Achilles complex. To use this elastic strap to help Pat mobilize his ankle into dorsiflexion, we need to get this strap as low as possible, sort of underneath the you know, medial and lateral malleolus, which is this little ankle, those little nubs on the side of your ankle. And you want to get it just below those so that you're on the joint line. And what we're doing is the elastic strap is going to be mobilizing a bone in the foot called the talus posteriorly as the tibia or shin bone comes anteriorly. And so for this I'm going to have Pat get into a kneeling position. And we want to be careful that Pat is uh, mobilizing this directly over his toes. And so uh, to prevent him from collapsing into excessive pronation, meaning his foot sort of his arch collapses, or for his knee to come into uh, internally into a, a valgus moment, we want to make sure that he is sort of stabilizing here and guiding his knee o directly over his second toes. Okay guys, once we've taken a look at Pat's ankle mobility and we, we feel adequate there, um, we can start to work on that stretch reflex. Um, a great exercise for hope, uh, working to improve the speed of that is just, uh, just a, a little calf raise, but we're going to do it a special way. Now, important disclaimer is, it takes a long time for your tendons to be prepared for plyometric exercise. So if you're starting from scratch, you need to be doing low volume, low sets, low repetitions at first as your tendons build strength over a couple of months. Um, and it can be three to six months before you've had uh, good cellular regeneration in those tendons. So what we're going to do for this exercise is we're going to have Pat sort of He's, he's moved off, and we're going to call this flat or neutral. And what he's going to do is he's going to drop down and then with speed come back up. So, And then he's going to slowly come back down to neutral, and then he's going to drop into plantar flexion and pop up. And we're going to have him do this 15 times. Okay, guys, there are many functional progressions that Pat can do to help him work on this moment of accessing that stretch reflex and then generating uh, speed and strength into power. But this is a good one. He's going to be doing essentially a step down immediately into a single leg hop, and then he's going to alternate legs. And so, Pat, go ahead. We're going to step down. And you see how as soon as his heel hits the ground, he's popping back up. 
and then working on a smooth, soft landing. Um, once again, if you start to feel any calf or Achilles pain, you need to immediately stop this exercise. Good. And by working on this stuff, you too can start to access that speed and strength that's necessary for that huge lift off going into your jumps. Hey guys, before beginning any strength or conditioning program or jumping program, make sure you get an evaluation by a physical therapist to make sure you're ready uh, to do it correctly and safely. Um, and make sure you like us on Facebook as we work our way up the kinetic chain for the rest of Pat's awesome jump.